So when I think about a Quantia, a chip maker, a lot of chip makers out there, tell us exactly what you do. What do you provide to your clients in terms of semiconductors? Here's what's different about us. So if you think about every which way you use internet, it puts a lot of data into these networks. These networks now have bottlenecks. So our company very simply removes those bottlenecks, whether they're in data centers at, at you know at the hyperscale guys or in your corporate data center, at your workplace where you have mobility devices. The, the mobile speeds are increasing to such a point where it makes the 15-year-old technology that was the backbone of these mobile networks useless. So what we provide is a multi-gig capability and we're very, very few companies in the world that actually have the expertise to deliver what we do and we lead this market. Now to tell you how big this market is, a billion ports of Ethernet ship every year with the speed that has been there for the last 16, 17 years. And our job is to actually convert every one of those to a multi-gig capability that gives the user better experience as they surf the internet. So uh, looking at who is buying uh, your products, Cisco, Cisco and Intel are two of your biggest customers. Talking to some of my sources on the street, they're a little bit concerned that there's so much saturation in those two customers. What's your growth strategy going forward and how do you maintain those two very important relationships? Very good question. If you're a networking connectivity company, the number one goal for you as a company is to serve Cisco and Intel because they have such huge market share. So the success means you win both of them. The flip side is you get some customer concentration. So you have to have a longer term strategy of how you diversify. So we've been going out and diversifying into basically computing industry, into providing devices to the service provider market. And as you see that part of our business continue to grow, that will naturally diversify the revenue from this company. We've got tremendous growth ahead of us. Analysts have us with 20 plus percent growth year over year. This is in an industry that grows five to six percent a year, right? And looking further beyond that is we want to be the solution provider for autonomous driving cars. So we will provide the fundamental structure, multi-gig structure, that will make an autonomous driving car, frankly, viable. And that's really our longer term goal that will double or triple the size of the market that we address. Uh, when I think about uh, diversity, a lot of the big chip makers have also been diversifying and they've been doing it through acquisitions. Right. There's one truism about your industry, it's that M&A is here to stay. Why did you all go public instead of potentially consider uh, being gobbled up by one of these big chip makers? Um, so our investors have invested nearly $200 million in this company and the company is 13 years old. We have a history of, of battling the big guys and beating them at, at, at the game and being two to three years ahead of them. So that investment is now starting to pay off. The products in our products in enterprise are starting to grow 30% plus a year. We've now come into this market we call Access, which is client computing and service provider market. That has started to grow. So our investors feel that tremendous growth year over year multi growth uh, ahead of multi year growth ahead of us will actually increase the value of this company 